Hey again, girls. All right, now that we did uh, one of the ice problems that was more simple and worked out pretty nicely, we're going to worry about one of the yuckier problems, okay? So I'm going to read the next example in the book, and we're going to make, you know, we're going to figure out how we're going to solve this um, using our given and our wanted table, just like we always do. So it's the same exact reaction that we just did in the previous video. It's hydrogen gas and iodine gas becomes um, hydrogen iodide gas. Um, only the difference is now they're giving us an initial concentration for hydrogen, an initial concentration for um, uh, iodine, and an initial concentration of product, and none of them are the same thing. And there are actually some crazy numbers in the book, so I'm just going to kind of change the numbers because I don't care. Um, I'm going to make this 0 0.006 molarity, and this uh, iodine is going to be 0 0.004 molarity, and um, then my product is going to be 0 0.002 molarity, okay? Now they said it was the same reaction with the same Kc, which was 54.3, okay? So, again, we have the same question. Um, what, did I, what did I get? What was I given? I was given concentrations of both my reactants and my product, and I was given Kc. What is it that they actually want from me? same thing. They want the concentration of all three species, my two reactants and my product, at equilibrium. Hydrogen iodide, all of these they want um, here, at EQ, um, at equilibrium, okay? So, if you had made that flashcard, then you would know, again, we are given in this problem initial concentrations and we're given in this problem Kc, and we're asked for the concentration at equilibrium. So that means whenever I'm given uh, the equilibrium constant and I'm asked for the concentrations, I have to be given the initial concentrations and I have to make an ice table. It's the easiest way to solve this kind of thing. So here we go again. We're going to have our little ice table. I'm going to put I for initial, which I've already written out. I'm going to put C for change, and I'm going to put E for equilibrium, okay? Now, here is the, one of the, play, the ways in which this problem is a little bit trickier. Did you notice how I actually have an initial concentration of product that they're starting me out with, okay? Now, when I make my change, I cannot assume anymore that the reactants are both going to be negative x and that the product is going to be plus 2x. They might be. But remember how we talked about in the last video, um, if QC, I have to calculate the reaction quotient. And if I calculate this initial reaction quotient, which is QC, it might be equal to KC. It's not going to be, but let's pretend. It might be equal to KC, which will mean that it's currently at equilibrium. It might be greater than KC, which means that the reaction is actually shifting this way in the reverse direction, okay? Or it might be less than KC in which the reaction is going in the right direction, excuse me, uh, fr from left to right for you in the forward direction, okay? So the reason I actually care now is because of what I drew in bold here. If I, I have to calculate QC first before I write what the change is because I don't know even if this reaction is going in the forward direction or if it's going in the reverse direction before it reaches equilibrium. I don't know if this is going to be negative x or if this is going to be positive x. I have two-way arrow here, right? So because they gave me a final concentration, I can't just make the assumption that the reaction is going to go in the forward direction. I'm going to lose my reactants and I'm going to gain my product. Now I actually have to calculate QC. So remember, I calculate QC the same way that I calculate KC. I, in order to find my reaction quotient, I'm going to take the concentration of the product, which is 0 0.002 squared, divided by, I don't even know where to write it, I'm going to put it over here in the corner. I'm going to put um, 0 0.002 squared divided by the concentration of reactants, 0 0.006 and 0 0.004, okay? And for QC, what I wind up getting is QC equals 19, ah, that's a 19.5, okay? So now you have to do the comparison for me. QC and KC. KC is 54.3, QC is 19.5. QC in this case is less than, I will fix my arrow, is less than KC, right? 
What does that mean? If QC is less than KC, then that means I have too many reactants, too much, a too high concentration of reactant, and the reaction is going in the forward direction. And that makes our lives a lot easier for this problem. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. It's not that much harder. If you just change the positive or the negative sign, but great. So that means that this reaction, I can assume, is currently going in the forward direction, meaning what am I going to lose? I'm going to lose my reactants, and I'm going to gain my product from left to the right, okay? So the change here is negative x, and it is negative x, but I just made, I had to make a note of that because if QC wound up being bigger than KC, then these signs would be opposite. It would be positive x, positive x, negative 2x, okay? So this is plus 2x, just like the last time, um, and everything is exactly like the last time. Our equilibrium is the initial minus the change, 0, 0, 6 minus x. This is uh, 0, 0, 4 minus x. And this is, um, now in this case I don't have 0, so it's actually 0 0.002 molarity uh, plus 2x. That's the only thing that's different. I don't know if you can read my handwriting. Um, everything else I solve the same. However, now algebraically it's going to be more difficult because I don't, it, the problem you can already tell, it's not going to work out so pretty like the last one. I have KC, uh oh, and I'm on reserve battery power. I better finish this quickly. Um, I have KC is equal to, actually maybe I will plug in my computer. Anyway, okay. I have KC is equal to, again, concentration of product squared because of this 2 divided by concentra concentration of uh, reactants. And I don't have any, uh, my coefficients are both 1, so I don't have to worry about that. And KC is equal to 54.3. So here I go, 54 Point 0.3 is equal to, um, in parentheses, um, 0. Point, see, remember here, this is what I'm pl plugging in now, 0. 0.002 plus a 2x squared. Notice here, remember, I remember to put all of this in parentheses, meaning I'm actually going to have to foil, I'm going to have to go ahead and take this entire thing, multiply it by itself, okay, which you might have heard was foiling. Um, divided by 0 0.006 minus x times, all of that, times 0 0.004 minus x, okay? Um, and I'm going to actually stop this video here because my computer battery is dying, so I'll try to upload the videos that um, we have, and then inshallah we'll go over this. And again, this is going to be hard, difficult to solve algebraically, so we're going to go ahead and um, work through that one. And I, I want you to practice it, inshallah, over the weekend. All right, let's hope this uploads easily. Bye.